In this video, I want to show off a little hack I discovered with VO3 that allows you to generate vertical 9x16 videos in full resolution. So if you watched my last video, I showed how to make story advertisements like this on autopilot using an N8N automation utilizing Nano Banana and VO3. And it looks something like this. Ultimately, it's pretty good, and if you're watching this on a smaller screen, it might look just about perfect, but the text here is kind of blurry, and the reason that is, is we go to Key AI, the API that we're using. They have a 9x16 version. However, when you upload something, essentially what it does is it takes this little square in the middle, and then it crops it out, and then it resizes it bigger. So, so this comes out to a bigger deal than you probably expect. This ad creative right here, I love the creativity of the background. I think it catches people's eyes. I love the fact that the product looks very similar to the product image and that we have the text here. But the big, big problem is it's just blurry and it's not gonna look good on an advertisement. Now compare that quality with this video that was also generated on VO3. And if you're not, full screen, and I'll be playing it now. So, as you can see, the details are there and it's good enough resolution to run as an advertisement. So, the next thing you're probably thinking is why don't I just upscale the video? And I'm actually going to show you how, after hours and hours of using VO3 and doing thousands of generations, I don't think the upscaling feature is actually beneficial. And now I'm going to show you why I don't think in most cases, especially when you have a human in frame, upscaling is a good idea. So I have this clip right here, and I'm gonna download the 720p version, and then I'm going to take the 1080 upscaled version, and then once I have that, I have it downloaded here, I'm now gonna be upscaling again to even show further my point. And then in the comparison, I'm gonna show you the first file, which is a 720p expanded to be full screen, and then I'm gonna show you the upscaled version, which, which was only used in upscaling to get to the 4K resolution of this video. Creating an AI creative agency will be the biggest opportunity of 2026. Creating an AI creative agency will be the biggest opportunity of 2026. Now, if you're watching this on a small screen, they might both look pretty good. And usually when I'm editing, I'm editing in a relatively small little area. But if you're watching full screen on a laptop, TV, or something, you'll start to notice very big flaws with the upscaled version. In fact, I recommend not upscaling content, especially if there's a per especially if there's a person in it, just like this example. But enough talking about this. Now let me show you some of the results using my new method. It's definitely not perfect, but it's a cool trick I haven't seen anyone else using. And as you watch it, you'll probably start to understand my technique. This is a test, and I want to see if everything is normal if I upload images sideways. So that one looks pretty good, definitely high quality. And now I'm going to play another version where I have myself. There's no way you can just upload images sideways and create vertical videos with VO3. So also pretty good. One thing you'll probably notice is there's a little bit of a slant with the head, and that's something that's very common when you use this technique. And here we have an example where I screenshotted this, sent it to Nano Banana, had a model wear it, and then I created this vertical video using the same technique. It's so great to be here tonight. So as you can see, this is the type of content that a lot of advertisers use, whether they're using it in TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram Stories, Instagram Reels. They need content that's 9 by 16 and if it's blurry, it's not going to work. So let me show you how I did this. Okay, so the first step is super simple. We went on to Google AI Studio or Gemini and we gave it the picture of the dress in the resolution of 9 by 16 and we said to put a person into the dress. Then we got this result right here, then I downloaded it and then put it into an image editor. Now on the image editor, all we did is we took it and we rotated it and made sure that the dimensions are 1920 by 1080. So that's exactly the vertical video rotated to the right. And as you can see, the image was a little bit off in terms of the resolution, but we were just able to crop it perfectly. So you see everything. We saved this file and then we go back to the browser. Now that we're on the browser and now that we're in the flow editor, we can go to frames to video 
and then we take this first frame right here and then you're going to upload the file this is your first time if not i'm going to be clicking on that right there as you can see it's obviously sideways and the reason we have to do this like i said before is google vo3 only works with landscape videos so there's going to be a lot of catches to this i give it the prompt woman waves to the camera and let's go through some of the results and i'll show you what you can obviously run into so we have this first result right here So this exhibits the most common thing and that's going to be the rotation. So there's going to be kind of like a gravitational pull, pulling people to be in a landscape variation even though you want them portrait. So this is not going to work too well, but here's the result that I showed you before that actually does. It's so great to be here tonight. Similar to the videos with the banana and the mid-journey person talking, if you just run enough examples you will get good results but there's certain actions that are harder to do than others. So for example, I said for the woman to spin in 360 here, showing off the dress. And as you can see, there's a lot of gravitational kind of force that we don't want in this type of video. So I highly recommend you try a bunch of stuff, but what I can say is when you get something working, it is super satisfying. So this one right here, I downloaded, and now I'm gonna show you a really easy way on Mac to rotate it. Uh, if you're on another platform like Windows, it might be a little bit more complicated and you might want to just put it into an editor. Okay, so now we have this file downloaded. I'm just going to be selecting it, hitting the space bar. It's so great it's to be gonna here tonight. It's going to pop up this little preview. Then I'm going to click on this box and boom, it's now rotated correctly and it's saved like this. And if you upload it to Instagram or anything, it will show in that exact resolution. Okay, and that concludes the VO3 hack. I hope you guys get a ton of value from it. If you made it to this point, you're probably very serious about AI video editing and AI marketing. And I wanted to show you this new school intro that I did completely with Nano Banana and VO3. Hey, it's Adrian. And in my last business, I bootstrapped the consumer app Lure to over $10 million in revenue. Creating an AI creatives agency will be the biggest opportunity of 2026. When VO4 comes out, no one will be able to tell the difference between AI and reality, which means the hundreds of billions spent on creatives each year will be up for grabs. And the ones who move fastest will own the future of marketing. Never have I seen such an opportunity. So if you're a marketer, business owner, or creator, and want to profit from AI marketing, then join my school. As we grow, the price will increase to $100 a month, so make sure to get in early and stay for life. As it said in the video, the price is going up. We have a lot of super talented people in the group that represent giant brands across the world. And I wanted to showcase a little clip from the school member, Jonathan, and show you how he's using VO3 to create advertisements for a beauty bar. And I'll just conclude on the fact that I rose the price to $25 per month. Whatever you get in, you lock in for life. But if you still want to get a great deal, I still have the yearly plan at only $144. So that comes out to only $12 per month. And if you're trying to take all this serious, you're definitely going to need to be there for more than a month. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.